the Montreal Canadiens have some good players in the QMJHL that they drafted over the past few years. Obviously, everybody's talking about Joshua. Everybody's also talking about Riley Kidney. But there is indeed a third Montreal Canadiens forward drafted prospect from the 2021 NHL draft that has showcased himself so well that I think, even though he might be a little bit older, this still is a player that deserves our attention. So let's go over to the QMJHL of 2021-2022 and sort the entire player list by points per game. You can see that the top two names are players that you've probably heard before. Maverick Bork is a Dallas Stars prospect who was fantastic for Shawinigan in the limited sample he played. And you also have Josh Waugh, who is second in points per game with his 119-point year in 66 games. Go over to number 11, you can see that the Montreal Canadiens' Riley Kidney with his 100-point season is indeed a top player too. We've documented both of these guys, and it's been pretty fun seeing how they've played. But, if you go over to the third overall spot in the QMJHL's regular season point-per-game metric, you'll find yet another Montreal Canadiens prospect. Let's talk today about Xavier Simoneau, playing out of the Charlottetown Islanders in the QMJHL. Now, Simoneau is a guy that if you remember the video that I made back when he was initially drafted, I was super over-the-moon ecstatic to see his name get called by the Montreal Canadiens. Mostly because, in my mind, Simoneau had always been one of these more underrated players that really didn't get the spotlight he deserved in the QMJHL throughout his development. A lot of the love that I had personally came from a video that I saw made by one of my good friends, Andy LaHue, who works for Future Considerations, he made a scouting report video on Xavier Simoneau back in June of 2019, when he actually entered draft eligibility. Long story short, Xavier Simoneau is a 5'7", 179-pound center who was passed over in two straight drafts in 2019 and in 2020. In his draft year, he played for the Drummondville Voltigeurs, where he had 57 points in 55 games. Now, that might not be the most impressive number to people who look at other QMJHL products who get drafted into the NHL, but you gotta remember, this 2018-19 Drummondville squad was absolutely stacked. Dawson Mercer, Nicholas Bodin, Maxime Comtois, Joe Valeno, so many fantastic players on this team, that even though Simoneau was a point-per-game player, he was 6th overall in total points. He had limited ice time, but there still were so many projectable parts of his game that were amazing to see. Sure, he was only 5'7", but he played a lot bigger than that. This was a guy that went out there with so much aggression and bite that if you go over to Jack Hahn's website on a post he made in October of 2020, you can see what some other QMJHL talents said about this player. Samuel Poulin, first-round pick by the Penguins, says that Simono is a smaller player, but he is so tenacious. Jeremy Poirier pick by the Calgary Flames says that he was really hard to play against, and Dawson Mercer, first-round pick by the Devils in 2020, said that he's a talented player who understands the game. Aside from his really competitive and intense play, he still had so many other things about Simoneau's game that were projectable and were super well-refined. Andy LaHue's scouting report back from 2019 goes over it all, but pretty much, Simoneau made his bread and butter in the QMJHL by making some very good reads, very good plays, his passing ability is exceptional, and the way he reads the the offensive zone is unmatched by a lot of other players that were taken in the draft. Sure, he's only 5'7", but as Jack Hahn said in his article, Simoneau is indeed a little giant, a guy who plays a lot bigger than his size and who doesn't really care about the weight and height difference when he goes in the corners for puck battles or fights in the front of the net to get rebounds. Simono isn't really the best shooter, nor is he the fastest guy out there, but his agility and playmaking ability really helped him out in the QMJHL the past few years. He had a career high of 89 points in 61 games for Drummondville in 2019-20. This season, though, his 86 points came in 48 games. So there you go, a huge increase in production over the course of the past two seasons. As we said, he was the third highest QMJHL player when it came to points per game, making the Canadians have three guys in the top 11 of the entire league. As you might remember from the draft last year, the Canadians took Simoneau with a sixth round selection in the 2021 draft, making him a double overager. In the season last year, he had 37 points and 27 games played, so not really the best point-per-game number, but this season in Charlottetown, he really went out there and redeemed that for himself as a 20-year-old overage player in the league. 
next season. He will likely get himself a contract, and he'll hopefully head over to the AHL's Laval Rocket, and we'll see what he's going to be able to do there. But when it comes to how Simono plays, this is another one of those Paul Byron, Raphael Harvey Pinard guys that has such a good offensive ceiling while also being an absolute workhorse. Now, Paul Byron wasn't a guy that's going to go out there and score 80 points in 40 games or whatever, but still, you'd rather see production like this than not see it, especially out of a Canadian's QMJHL forward prospect core that houses other players like Kidney and Josh Waugh. Even though Simoneau does not have age on his side in comparison to those other players, it still is a great sign to see him doing what it is that he's doing and working through the kinks of being a smaller player in one of the more defensively lax leagues in the CHL. This is what the scouting report says on the Elite Prospects 2020 draft guide on Simoneau. He easily recognizes coverage assignments and contains bigger opponents on D side. Simoneau can feather passes with both forehand and backhand just as proficiently. His speed improves with the usage of multiple crossovers. He is a high-energy forechecker. Although he finishes hits, he doesn't need to. He should look to use his stick more. I think that last part of his scouting report really does encapsulate the aggression and the tenacity that Simoneau plays with. He has dealt with some injuries over the past few years as well, and some would say those injuries are a result of the way he plays the game, how aggressive he is. But at the end of the day, this is a very good heart and soul player that has a really good playmaking offensive touch to his game as well, which is why he's able to score so many gosh darn points. Let's go back over onto Jack Hahn's article about Simoneau. You gotta remember Jack Hahn used to work for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and he writes here in this article about what a few scouts had to say about Xavier Simoneau, talking about how Scout A says he's listed as 5'7", but he is really 5'5 at best. That is just way too short for an NHL player. His legs, they're so stubby, there's no way he could skate well enough to keep up with the pros. I really do like him as a player right now. I'd take him any day to play on my junior team but I just don't think he's going to make it at the NHL level. He writes that there are some aspects to Simoneau's game that really prohibit the idea of him being drafted and even making the show. He'll be physically dominated, he's too slow to play at that height, he puts up points but they won't transfer. But then he goes out there and writes about toughness, hockey sense, as well as Simoneau's learning ability. Han says this, during my time on the Toronto Maple Leafs hockey ops staff, I pushed for Simino during amateur scouting meetings because I saw the possibility for greatness where others didn't. We didn't end up picking him in the 2019 draft in Vancouver, but he did accept an invitation to join us for rookie camp and for the 2019 Traverse City Prospects Tournament. As his video coach that week, I saw a player who worked hard and kept up, but who didn't necessarily stand out. At the conclusion of the event, Simino asked me what he needed to do in order to improve and perhaps get drafted the next time around. Han highlighted a few things. Firstly, become more of a shooter. Simoneau will always be a pass-first player, but improving his shot will help him become a dual threat and force defenders to respect his ability to score himself. In 2018-19, he showed a strong preference for shooting on his left back leg. During rookie camp, we worked on transferring weight through the shooting motion onto his right front leg for more power. In 2019-20, he led his team in goals with 28, a career high. Han also told Simoneau to be available every game. As a feisty, undersized player, Simoneau has a history of injuries and suspensions. I challenged him to keep playing a fearless and aggressive game, but to prepare better and play smarter to give himself the best chance to contribute each game. After missing 7 and 13 games in 2017, 18, and 2018, 19, Simoneau only missed two games in the shortened pandemic season in 2019, 20. For these reasons, I have big faith in Xavier Simoneau's potential remember the name. And so I guess with Simoneau, there are so many aspects to take a look at when it comes to projecting where he could be at the Laval level or even the Montreal level. 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will. There also is that 5% pleasure and 50% pain and the 100% reason to remember the name. But either way, Xavier Simoneau is a guy that went out there and lit the lights out in the QMJHL. So this is a guy that I think the Montreal Canadiens are going to like having in their system. I know it might not be the most reliable kind of strategy, oh, just take whoever is at the top of the points charts in the CHL, but I mean, a lot of these guys, while some of them don't work out, the ones that do usually work out pretty well. So for Xavier Simoneau, even at the end of the day, if he is only an AHL guy that does some really good things and eventually gets called up once in a while to the NHL, he is still a sixth round double overager pick that I don't think you should be taking lightly as a projectable NHL caliber prospect. He might not become an NHL star, but just being available in the first place is good enough for me to say, yeah, let's make a video about this guy, let's talk about his profile and highlight why this player, alongside of Josh Waugh and Riley Kidney, is really making things fun for Canadians fans who keep up 
up with the QMJHL. So, talk to me in the comments all your thoughts about Xavier Simoneau, link in the description to Jack Hahn's article, as well as Andy LaHue's scouting report from 2019, two very great resources in acknowledging what this player is about. Go ahead and click on them, watch the video, read the article, give them some ad views because they deserve it. Also, talk to me in the comments section below, what do you think about Simoneau as a player, where do you think he projects, and do you think he's got a future with the Montreal Canadiens? But I hope you enjoyed this British Charles 99, and bye. <laughs>